everybody. Today's recipe is pang. <laughs> pang is a chic pang in Korean, in English, a loaf of bread. I'm going to make two loaves of bread today. Hey, Mangchi, what happened to you? You are supposed to eat rice only. No, no, I love bread. I love bread. I used to buy bread on a regular basis and then make a toast every morning for my breakfast. But problem is that it happened last year because the pandemic started. I used to buy this bread, really nice, delicious bread. The bakery was franchised bakery that closed totally. So I worked on this recipe for myself first. I did some experiment, add less, add more, and I think this is perfect. I make this bread almost every other week. And of course, I eat also rice. <laughs> Don't worry, rice and kimchi. So when I finish the two loaves of bread, I make again, just like a kimchi I make. <laughs> so I thought that you guys might be interested in it. You, all of you guys are my favorite people. I cannot wait to share this uh, recipe with you. I would like to name this bread Pandemic Pang. <laughs> you like it? Pandemic bread? Probably, even though all pandemic is done, I don't think I need to buy bread, just uh, this kind of sandwich bread anymore. We need quarter cup butter. This is unsalted butter. Let's melt butter. Butter is well melted and I'm going to turn off. I will add cold milk, one and half cup. One cup and half cup. Add sugar, quarter cup. And stir this. Let's see, check temperature. Yeah, it's a kind of lukewarm. I use instant yeast. This is one package. It's around two teaspoons. Let's wait. This yeast is a little foamy, like activated. And then we are going to add rest of ingredients. Five minutes later, this yeast is really foamy. Okay? And then now I'm going to add the salt. One teaspoon plus half a teaspoon. One and half. Teaspoon. Let's add two eggs. Just stir this. Four cups of flour. Bring it. <laughs> and I will measure four cups and then add here. Two. Just you can use any brand name, but unbleached all-purpose flour. That's what I use. So make one lump, then we gotta knead. Time to knead seriously. I gotta use my hand, and I don't have any, you know, electric mixer because my hands are a mixer. <laughs> you need to knead very nicely 300 times. That's also from my own experiment. Like one, like this, two, <laughs> three. This way, so 300 times is around four or five minutes, then kind of perfect. Nice. And close. Two hours later, come back. Okay, see you soon. I am back. Let's check out, check out. Ooh -wah, ooh -wah. Look at this, wow, gorgeous, nice, nice, shiny. A little bit flour, and if this is a sticky, I'm going to use this. So. so 
so soft. Nice. And some flour. I'm going to divide this into two. And I'm going to use this baking pan. This is my really favorite pan. I don't add any butter or anything. Non-stick, non-stick pan. Eight and a half inch, and here is a four and a half inch. And this height is two and three quarter inch. You can buy this kind of pan in the kitchenware store or even online. So check out the recipe, I will give you the link. So just make a shape. And little flour. Each one, I gotta just quickly like knead like this. So remove the all gas inside. And these two. So I put some flour here and like this, make rectangular. This size is around seven inch. Seven and six inches. And then just roll it up like this. So add the pen like this. Then also roll it up like this. We gotta rise this until this is rich this more than double. I'm going to let this rise for one hour. Okay, see you soon. Okay, we are ready. See, these guys just rose very, very nicely. I preheated my oven 350 Fahrenheit. So now exactly 350 Fahrenheit. Let's just bake. So I just baked 25 minutes. We didn't see inside yet, but look at that. Take a look at it. It's amazing. Besides, this smells amazing. I love this. I can pay $10 for this smell. I'm going to cool it down a little bit and take out. Wow, nice, nice. Oh my, it smells so good. Look at this. Great, eh? Nice. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> Sponge. I'll put some my butter here. And jam. Mm. <laughs> See? Very spongy and moist and fluffy. What I usually do, this is going to be maybe one week later I'm eating, and freeze and refrigerator. With this bread, you can make you know tuna sandwich, just grilled cheese or just a, um, plain toast and anything just you can enjoy. 
Today we made pandemic bang. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.